Another glorious May morning in 1932 and the first train of the day is handled by double diesel locos Dorothy and Diana as they bring the empty sand hoppers from the exchange sidings into Beeston Market Station. After running round their train they depart down the line for Bickerton Sand Quarry. These locos were 3D printed and are powered by two 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries wired in parallel. The train is now approaching Beeston Castle Station. There was once an extensive sand quarry at Beeston Market Station. I've simply moved it further down the line to provide an excuse for more traffic on the railway. After running round its train at Bickerton, the empty hoppers are propelled into the sand quarry siding under the loading hoppers. The locos then retire to Bickerton where the driver has his breakfast. Meanwhile, back at Beeston Market, Fowler Diesel Loco number 7, Tolmash, is withdrawing a train of empty skips from the exchange sidings. After running round its train and picking up the workman's coach, it then chugs its way slowly down the line to the copper mine between Bukeley and Bickerton. The copper mine sustains the railway and has enabled it to survive the Great Depression of the 1920s and 30s. Going back to Beeston Market, the first passenger train of the day is just departing, the early mixed hauled by Barclay 240 Tank Loco No. 2, Beeston. At Beeston Castle Station, a coal wagon is dropped off for the coal merchant, William France and Son. Passengers are very tolerant of these diversions. After all, it's been this way for the past 40 odd years.
In its own good time, the mixed eventually departs from Beeston Castle, to wander in a leisurely way further down the line. We remain at Beeston Castle, where, after an hour or so, we see the ore train returning with skips full of copper ore, while below the mixed is departing from Bickerton Station and passing the sand quarry. At Peckerton Station, the up mixed now needs to drop off a couple of wagons. The passengers take the opportunity to stretch their legs on the platform and catch up with the latest gossip from the station staff and their near neighbours. But, of course, no matter what, the timetable has to be followed, and so the passengers re-embark and the train eventually departs. Back to Beeston Market. The copper ore has been discharged from the skips into the mainline wagons on the exchange sidings and the mid-morning down passenger departs. A little later in the day at Beeston Market, the daily down pickup goods departs, hauled by loco number 10, Bayer Peacock 040 Tiverton. The line follows the River Gowie on some of its route. Here we see the pickup goods crossing it on its approach to Peckforton Station. At Bukeley Station, the pickup goods pauses for a while, where it crosses the up mid morning passenger train. With the pickup goods in the background at Bickerton Station, the mid morning up passenger passes on its approach to Beckforton. At Bickerton we see the up passenger passing overhead as it draws into Beeston Castle, while below the up pickup goods departs from Bickerton Station. On the approach to Peckforton Station the up pickup goods passes Peckforton Grist Mill. You may have noticed that the composition of the train changes as it progresses down and up the line. Back to Bukeley Station and the up ore train emerges from the copper mine branch. It pauses briefly amid much hooting to acquire permission to join the main line. At Peckforton, the pickup goods is about to depart, while the up ore train pulls in on the platform loop. The pickup goods is now on its final approach to Beeston Market Station. The local populace still makes much use of the railway, 
despite competition from road transport. The mid-afternoon up passenger has just climbed Gallantry Bank and is pulling in to Bukley Station. A little later in the day, still at Bukley, the up sun train waits on the platform loop for the down ore train to pass through on its way to the copper mine. Between Peckforton and Bukley, the down afternoon mixed is steaming towards the foot of Gallantry Bank, building up pressure for the climb ahead. The day is wearing on. The last up ore train chugs through the cutting on the copper mine branch as it approaches Bukley Station. And at Peckforton, the up mixed departs over the level crossing. Rumour has it that that Model T Ford could be one of the earliest examples of a driverless vehicle in the UK. The last passenger train of the day is usually a petrol or diesel rail bus, but today the Fowler has been given dispensation to take the train. <laughs> 